Hey there, folks. We are out at the Wasatch Wing and Clay facility, and it's freaking beautiful out here. And today we're going to talk about a shotgun. Now, this particular scatter gun in my hand is the Mossberg Model 930. Now, the Model 930 has been out for a while. Uh, this was Mossberg's big venture into a semi automatic 12 gauge shotgun for fighting. Now this gun in particular, there's two basic 930 models. This is the shorter model. They do make a longer one with a longer magazine tube. Let's talk about some specifics. The bolt hold open, bolt release is located right here on the right side of the frame. You have a nice large handle on the bolt, which you would expect on a semi-automatic shotgun. The only other controls are the trigger and of course like all Mossbergs have they have a tang mounted ambidextrous safety switch right there. A polymer furniture, a polymer stock with a nice cushy pad on the end of it which is which is important if you're going to be shooting heavy loads double lot buck and slugs and so forth and a polymer forend. The gun is really easy to disassemble. You just unscrew this cap right here. You can take everything off and uh, clean it up, lube it, do all the stuff you need to do. When it's time to reassemble, you want to reverse the steps. You will install the gas piston spacer, install the spring, then you will install the pusher assembly. And then the piston itself, and if you see the piston is actually in the barrel assembly. The piston is attached to the barrel assembly and you need to take just a little bit of time to make sure that all the pieces and parts are realigned. But take your time and when you go to reinstall the barrel, you're going to pull the bolt back, align all the pieces and the barrel should snap into place. Then you can just put the forend back on and take the cap and screw it back down all the way finger tight. It is important to perform a mechanical function check after you've reassembled any firearm to ensure that it is properly working and that you have properly reassembled it. On the 930, you're going to check the bolt hold open and the manual safety. The first year that the Model 930 was released by Mossberg, I had the good fortune of attending a writer's event at the Blackwater Training Facility. And you're saying, oh, they don't call it Blackwater anymore. Yeah, I know they don't call it Blackwater anymore, but they did then. And what we did was we spent three solid days doing nothing but shooting the 930 shotgun. We shot it on steel, we shot moving targets, we did breaching with it. And by the time we were done, I had probably put somewhere between five and 600, maybe a little more rounds through this gun. And let me tell you what, I came out on the other end very, very impressed by how well this shotgun functioned and how well it felt. Now on the end right here, those of you that are not familiar with the Mossberg guns or the modern Mossberg guns, you'll see this strange looking device that they have mounted to the end of the barrel. Now it's called a standoff and those who have been in either the police or the military know that a standoff is used for shotgun breaching. And you say, I don't want to breach. I probably will never have to breach doors or locks or anything. So why would I want to have that? Well, you don't necessarily need to have that. But what I have learned from my experience is that even though this was designed for tactics, it makes a really good choke. 
Now these barrels are standard cylinder bore. They're not improved or modified or anything like that. Uh, but when they put this on there, it has a tendency to hold the shot patterns together really close and make them very, very consistent. What else do we have on here feature-wise? You have your loading gate underneath right there. And close that. What you will do is slide up four rounds. Yes, this shorter version holds four two and three quarter inch shotgun shells and then one in the chamber. So you will start out with five shells total. I know a lot of you guys out there have experience with semi-automatic 12 gauges and you're like, yeah, but what will it cycle? What will it feed? What is it like to eat? Well, the fact of the matter is this gun right here will cycle low brass bird shot of course double out buck and slugs so pretty much anything you want to feed it except for the super soft you know powder loads but your basic field loads will all run just fine in this gun this is the mossberg model 930 semi-automatic 12 gauge shotgun